Hey everybody, today I got a lot of Funko Pops that I'm gonna unbox in today. And I gotta tell you, I don't have a, I have a lot of boxes here today. One is from Galactic, from Galactic Toys and most of them are from, from Funko.com. So we'll be starting with those. So let's get started. First up we got is a box from Galactic Toys. Can't show you the the entire box itself because it has my info on it and I'm not going to give it away. So let's get started with opening this one. Alright, the box is open and we got ourselves one Galactic Toy exclusive. And it is these now going to be vaulted figure of it is from My Hero Academia and it's Midnight. And like I said, she and most of the other Funko figures are going to, going to be vaulted, which means that the price is going to be high. And I had to get this one. I did see like, like right after I finished ordering it, I noticed that I saw that the price just recently raised up like a few days ago. But I was lucky enough to get it from the average price, which was $15. I, I do like how they wrapped it up in, in like bubble wrap because she is vaulted like I said. <clears throat> and like she's in a, a a pop protector which really nice as well and I had to get this one because I'm a MHA fan and I really really like this there's a lot protection is suited well for the vaulted figures all right so next up we have our next box which is from Funko.com and, and there are five figures in total in this box and I had I wanted to get one because get these figures because some of these are gonna be sold out really really fast based on the popularities and Whatever, and I had to get these ones. All right, so here we go. We got the box open, and we're going to show you the figures one by one. So starting off with like with MHA, My Hero Academia, we have Ochako Uraraka. And she's also an antagonist. I mean uh, like a protagonist, just like uh like most other characters. But uh sure, yeah, her quirk is zero gravity, which she touch anything with her fingers to make them like floating around but if she uses it her power is too much she just instantly barf out rainbows and that's what I like about this character she's really fun glad it's like that it's not like the box is not broken next all right next figure <laughs> next up we got is Deku, or everybody is Izuku Midoriya, or everybody calls him Deku, and he's the main protagonist in My Hero Academia, and this is actually his season one outfit, and season one he he was quirkless, which means he didn't have any powers. But a few seasons later, he did have the power. Just like All Might, which is one for all, which is the power which has been transferred to generations to generations. And I had to get this one because like he was he was almost in low stock, so I had to get this one before he was gone forever. And I do I did like this 
I do like some of these characters from HA. MHA, sorry. I keep saying HA. But whatever, so that's it for the, the My Hero Academia figures. Next up we got is Pokemon. <clears throat> the sword that we got here is Growlithe. And Growlithe is a fire type puppy Pokemon. And I do like like this dog a lot. He's he's good doggo. For those who wonder about the new Pokemon games of uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, they'll be coming out in November. And another game coming in January next year, Legends Arceus. And Rattlip is going to get a game new form in Legends, which means he's going to be Rock Fire Dog. And I'm excited to see what he'll be in battle, along with the new form of Arcanine. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. <clears throat> Next up we got is except we got Eevee. And Eevee is a really, really special Pokemon because Eevee has like a lot of evolutions throughout the entire Pokemon games. Like in the beginning there was only Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon. Then, generations onwards, there were Umbreon, Espeon, and then Leafeon, Glaceon, and Sylveon. <clears throat> and Eevee has two styles for Funko Pop. This one is actually where he is, looks like it's in battle stance. The other one is where he is sitting. And I'm really excited because Eevee is really a recognizable Pokemon just like Pikachu. And I really like this Pokemon a lot. <clears throat> Alright, now next up we got is probably one of my, obviously one of my favorite starters from Kanto, Squirtle. And this one is a, it's just, just a regular Squirtle, but you can see it's, it's common. The Diamond Squirtle is... And this is a different one because like the diamond score that I have, it's just, like I said, it's diamond. So you can take the comparison. See, this one is a common and this is a diamond squirrel. And I had to get, I have an obsession with squirtle. Like the silver, the silver squirtle that's going to be coming out soon along with Dragonite, Caterpie, and Pichiotto, which I pre-ordered already. But I... I really like this Pokemon. He is my number one favorite Kanto starter. He's really nice. <clears throat> and, and we also have one more figure here. And it's actually not for me, it's actually for a family member, which I, I'm going to give it to her for Christmas. So if you guys are familiar with Star Wars The Mandalorian, there is a very popular, a very popular character which everybody goes calls it Baby Yoda. Originally he was called Grongu. I mean the child, but now they confirmed his name is Grongu. So I had, I had to order this figure for, for my, for my family member for Christmas, and it is Grongu. He has a lot of different types, different stances for Funko Pop. Uh, Grungu, this one is actually f with him with eating cookies. And Grungu or Baby Yoda, whichever you want to call it, is going to be appearing in the Macy's 2021 Thanksgiving Parade, where he'll be appearing as a parade float with lots of merch like t shirts and a float, which will be coming out in the Funko Pop really soon. And a keychain, lots of keychains. But uh, like I said, this this is not for me. This is for one of my family members since she likes Baby Yoda so much. And that's all the pops that we have for today, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And if you like this video, why not 
like, comment, and subscribe for more videos that will be coming up soon. And we're close to the ending of the year, which means more pops will be coming out soon. And I got a special one that's been coming out somewhere in December. So I hope you guys stay prepared for it. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.